Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make some Gouda cheese grits and scallops. Let's get it. All right, Towners. Uh, to start off with this recipe here, we're going to be making some smoked Gouda cheese grits with uh, some scallops. Um, the head, heads up, head note, this is not a keto friendly dish. Um, it's uh, regular grits, not cauliflower grits. Um, my friend uh, hit me up and asked me if I could make these grits for her for her uh, son's birthday party. She was doing a brunch theme for the party. So I was like, sure, I can make it for you. So I just do this. Just, this is regular grits. <laughs> but uh, to start off with this recipe here, we basically uh, had our pot and filled it up with some water and added in some uh, chicken bouillon cubes. Um, if you have chicken stock, you can definitely use chicken stock for that. Um, but we're just going with this route, which is what we had. Um, so fill it up with water, adding chicken bouillon cubes, and then we added in some heavy whipping cream. Then we uh, went ahead and started to stir everything up slowly, slowly let it come to a boil. Um, I did take out about two cups of the water after I filled the pot up, because I didn't want it to overflow when I added and stirred the grits in or anything. So um, here we are uh, mixing everything up and mixing while we add the grits in so that they don't lump up or clump up on you uh, while you pour that in. If they do clump up, I'll show you how you can get those out also. But um, here the water's coming to a boil here after we added in the grits. And at that point, we just went ahead and popped the lid on and put it down to low. Um, yeah, here I, I thought it might have overflowed after I had everything full. So I did add the water back in to, um, to refill the pot back up after the grits started cooking. So after popping the lid on and dropping the temperature down to low, uh, we come in after every every about two or three minutes or so and just give it a good stir. Um, just make make sure it stays loose and break up any clumps or anything and get everything from the bottom of the pan. Uh, she requested that she wanted hers a bit loose, so we add a little bit more liquid to that. If you want them thicker, definitely add less, a little less liquid or so, maybe a cup or so less, and you, you just add more water as you want to go to it. Um, here, basically, just giving it a good stir here, and as you stir, you can see any so any of those balls that pop up. Those are really pretty much clumps of grits. So you can basically just take that and smash that against the side of the pan. It'll basically break up on you. So um, if you do, you know, don't don't get all the lumps in, or if you get any lumps in your grits, just give it a good stir. You'll see the lumps or any ball go around. Smash that, and you're good to go. Now we basically just continue to stir this up every two to three minutes, and after about. 15 minutes, the grits were done. They're ready to go. At that point, we added in our cheese and uh, just slowly stirred that in and they're done. I mean, it's <laughs> very simple to make, uh, just like you're making rice, you know, bring your water to the boil, pop the lid on and turn it down to low. And well, the rice, you just leave it alone. But for this, just keep stirring. Just come in and just keep stirring it up every two to three minutes or so to make sure nothing clumps up or get everything up to the bottom of the pan. It doesn't burn on you. And you're good. So we basically went ahead and packaged this up and brought it over to uh, my friend's house. I didn't add any salt or pepper to this. Basically, the chicken stock had enough flavor and s salt to it that it was just fine. You can definitely salt to pepper, season it to taste on your plate. So once we got over to her house, she was still cooking. So I helped her out a bit. Um, she had her uh, she had some scallops that she uh, washed off and added some lemon juice to that. And in the skillet to the left there, she added in some uh, butter. So finely chopped onions, garlic, season it with a little salt and pepper, chili powder, paprika, and pop that in the oven at 425 for about 15 minutes. Um, I helped her out by also just cracking in some eggs here. I got about 20 eggs I put into this pan. Putting this with some uh, butter, uh, salt and pepper, heavy whipping cream, and uh, just basically scrambled those eggs up for her. Um, after uh, cooking the eggs here, we went ahead and added that to her serving dish tray where she had all of her food set up at, which looked amazing. Uh, she had some eggs, uh, some tater tots, the scallops that she made, uh, some sausage and bacon, a uh, bread pudding, waffles, uh, some toppings for the waffles, uh, the grits, uh, some pickled onions and peppers. Um, here's the other side, back half of the table here. And she also had a bread basket bowl with a charcuterie board, a bunch of nuts, grapes, cheeses, and uh, salami on there. And uh, she also even had a mimosa bar. Um, so it was some water with lime and citrus water. Uh, so, I mean, it came, everything came out great. Um, here we're here near plating up a plate of the, uh, 
grits with the scallops and sauce on it. Um, I wasn't able to partake in any of this, you know, I, I, I did get some, some eggs and some of the meat, um, played around with some of the stuff on the charcuterie board, but, um, uh, everything came through and came out <laughs> really nice and set up and everything here. Uh, but yeah, you know, not keto friendly dish, but helping out my friend and making this up for her. Um, here's a close up of what the grits and scallops look like with the parsley on it. Um, the, um, Hope you guys, you know, like this recipe or, you know, try it out. And, you know, <laughs> this is also what I had. I did play around with this year. I just added some of the toppings from the uh, bar and put some of the whipped cream on top of that heavy whipping cream she whipped up. And then my friend also at the end, we were pretty much ready to go. And then he pulled out some barbecue. I was like, man, where was this at the beginning? I could have <laughs> been playing around with this the whole time. But you brought out some barbecue and then she gave me a bag of homies. Some jalapenos. I was like, cool. Everything's good with me. <laughs> Hope you guys like this recipe. I like this video. Um, try it out if you're not doing keto. Um, you feel good cooking some something that was non-keto for a while just to play around and get back to doing other stuff. But enjoy this recipe, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy. Enjoy and please subscribe and your Hey Towners, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.